was moving the rope and I accidentally sprayed. <laughs> what? That could have been so bad. Your whole face would have been. Are you ready? <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Kern and welcome back to Octane Street, the road here on YouTube that never ends. And today's video is gonna be more of a product review. And keep in mind, this video is not sponsored in any way, shape or form. The product we're gonna be reviewing today is actually the Matt CC Car Foam Gun. And now you guys might be familiar with foam cannons. And if you guys aren't, they're these really cool things that uh, you see a lot of car enthusiasts and detail shops use. It's this, it's this really nice uh, looking gun, so to say, that holds soap in a bottle. And it's kind of like this one, but it only attaches to a pressure washer. And those cover the entire car in a very thick and foamy layer of soap. And those are one of the best tools for cleaning cars, especially if you have a business, um, as well as for the you know heavy car enthusiast. But me, I don't have a pressure washer and those run usually $500 plus. And so instead there's a solution on Amazon where you could actually get a foam gun. So it's not a foam cannon, it's a foam gun and what the difference is is that these actually work with your typical regular garden hose and therefore don't require too much pressure to actually spew out okay so these aren't obviously going to be as good as a foam cannon so with all that talking out of the way i'm going to go ahead and show you guys the product right now all right so this is the actual full product assembled now it does it's, it's actually three pieces here so right here you have your quick release kind of hose connector and this is what connects from your hose, your garden hose, to the actual product here. And it's it's a really simple mechanism. It's very uh, commonly used in mechanic shops for airlines and stuff like that. So you just pull back on this little tab here and then you put it on. You're gonna have to put it in nicely until you hear it click and let go. And then it's on there nice and tight. And then this part right here is just a little hose slash nozzle that's actually gonna be spewing it out. Otherwise, it just looks like this. And pop that in, it's nice and snug. And then this actually rotates. It's kind of annoying. I wish you could kind of like tighten it so that it's not uh, going anywhere. This you're going to have to fill up with your water and your soap. And the soap that we're using for today's video is actually a popular one. It's Mr. Pink by Chemical Guys. You can find them on YouTube and Amazon. Uh, it's a really highly rated soap and it's supposed to be super sudsy. So it has a nice thick foam. And when you're using a product like this or a foam cannon, you're going to want your soap to be extra foamy so that it gives it that nice effect and actually makes it clean the car a lot better so we got this brand new unopened gonna be trying it for the first time here with the foam gun so this should be a really good combo according to my research and i can't wait to try it out so let's get to it all right guys so i have the actual hose nozzle here attached to my garden hose and to be honest i'm gonna use i'm gonna make this entire video only using this product and you can you guys can actually use this as its own little nozzle to spray your car down as well which is really cool um, i'll show you guys the stream right here so it kind of gets a little bit weak as it goes. Uh, I don't know, it's a little bit strange. Maybe it's the pressure from my hose. I'll try and include the pressure right below in the video of how much pressure is actually coming from my, my home garden hose here. But I'm gonna wash the car down with this, just give it a quick rinse. Then we're gonna attach the soap, uh, the soap sprayer essentially, the foam gun. And then we're gonna spray it with a thin uh, layer of foam and soap. So I just washed the car down. I put some soap and water in here and I haven't sprayed it yet. There's several settings from zero. So it's like mostly water to the highest soapy setting. So I'm gonna go straight from zero to the highest soapy setting and let's see the difference. So this is with the lowest amount of soap. Okay, so as you can see, there's barely any soap coming out of there and I'm hoping to be blown away with the 
the most soapiest setting. So you kind of just rotate this thing. It's a little bit cold out here right now because it's Canada. And I think E is the final one. I'm just gonna double check, yeah. So E is the most soapy setting if I'm not mistaken. And let's hope that there's a good amount of soap. All right, so as you guys can see, it's actually pretty decent. I don't know what you guys would say about this. It's definitely not a foam cannon. Again, it's a foam gun. Uh, very similar though, and it's actually doing a pretty decent job at soaping the car. But as you guys see, the stream of water is not really, it doesn't really go very far. So you kind of got to stay close to the car, which for me isn't a problem. Um, and again, maybe that's partly due to my garden hose here. It is colder weather out here in Canada. so. Uh, this is pretty much the last opportunity I have to kind of clean my car by hand uh, before it gets too cold. So I'm going to keep soaping down the whole car and let's see how it does for the whole time. All right, so as you guys can see, I would give this coverage actually a pretty good score. This is the final bit of the car that I did. And this is how you could tell that the soap inside the bottle is actually running out. You guys can see that there, there's not really any soap left. And that's why here, barely any soap was coming out on the car. So it's actually pretty clear and easy to tell when you don't have any more soap to use. So I think the coverage was actually really good. And before it all dries up, as you guys can see on the hood of the car, it's much better. But before it all dries up, I'm actually going to disconnect this. Again, it's really easy. Just do that. And now you got your hose nozzle again. And we can get the rain. All right, guys. So believe it or not, I was actually about to give up on using this as a regular hose nozzle just to spray water. But my beautiful wife here actually figured something out that I couldn't. Uh, me, I was just pressing the nozzle all the way like this. Which, as you can see, it turns it into a soaker mode. But she told me that if I don't press it all the way, it actually sprays much better. So depending on how hard you actually spray this nozzle, it has built in different types of spray patterns. So that's really cool to know. And it definitely makes this much more viable if you wanna use only this product plus your garden hose to actually wash your car. So I'm gonna keep using this now that we found this out. And let's get back to it. All right guys, so I'm done cleaning the car, wiping it down, and you guys can take a look for yourselves. The car is looking way more clean than it was before. I'll go ahead and show you guys that there. So the product definitely did work. However, I would highly suggest you uh, using a wash mitt and still rubbing in that soap into the vehicle um, because first of all that's the way it's meant to be and second of all if you just use the product by itself unless you have very 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 light dirt on your vehicle it's just not going to get all of it off so i had to go a little bit over it again with a second pass and then once i did that used the wash mitt wiped it down car looked absolutely beautiful 
Now, I didn't want to touch the wheels too much because the weather is going to be bad probably tomorrow or the day after. I just really wanted to get this video out to you guys and actually try this product out for myself so that you guys and I'm, I can see for myself if foam guns are worth it, which brings us to the whole purpose of this video. Are they worth it? Now, for mine, I actually got it on a Black Friday sale, so I paid about $10 cheaper than the you know regular retail price. Um, but even at full price of about $55 Canadian, I would have to say that this product is worth it. And the reason why is because it does save you about 10 to 15 minutes every time you wash your vehicle. So I should probably rephrase my previous statement. It's only worth it if you wash your car very often. If you just do a light wash to your car once every couple of months, or you like taking it through a automated car wash, then this product is definitely not for you. You're better off saving the money and just buying a couple of good quality um, microfiber cloths. But for the person who does like to wash the car at least once a month, I would say that this is worth it because it does save you about 10 to 15 minutes per wash. And so yeah, I gotta give it a thumbs up. Out of 10, I'd probably give this product a 7 out of 10. It could be better, uh, but again, this is a foam gun, not a foam cannon. Not much room for, for um, growth here with this product, so I would highly recommend it. And yeah, it's up to you guys if you want to check it out, if you guys like to wash your cars. And be sure to do that. I got links in the description below. But that's all for this video, guys. If you guys like seeing content like this or you want to see more content on my Mustang, then be sure to go ahead and subscribe, as well as hit that notification bell so that you guys can ride shotgun with me in the next video. My name is Kern, this is Octane Street, and I'll see y'all.